Hi, this is Rennie with Auto Detailing TV, and today I want to bring a really special product to your direction. If you're looking at protecting your car, you've got it all polished out and looking good. Sonex, the polymer net shield, is a great product. It's not a wax, it's actually a polymer net shield. Uh, it, I got a chance to tour the factory over in Germany recently, and their, their quality control on this product is amazing. It's a really nice product, easy on, easy off. Now, a lot of people think just because you spray something on, it's not as durable. In these days and times, that's not the fact. This product, in a real world environment, I've had it on my wife's GMC Denali for four months. Now we live in the mountains of Southern California. It gets hot, it gets cold, lots of tree sap, and we go up and down that mountain quite a bit. We got a solid four months out of that product with absolute ease. Now, if you live in an environment that's not quite as harsh as ours, or maybe you're gonna take and protect your classic car or your European import and you don't, maybe it's your garage baby, it's gonna last a lot longer than that. Now, some tools you're gonna need for this is actually the polymer net shield. You're gonna need the applicator pad from Sonex, and you're gonna need a nice microfiber towel. You want it in the garage or in the shade. Doing it in the open sun is a no-no. If you find yourself, you live in an apartment or you have no other choice, you're gonna shrink down your sizes and just go a little smaller. Now, what I like to do is I like to start out in the middle of the hood and work my way back this direction. That way I'm not putting my arm over it or anything like that. For today, just for demonstration purposes, a lot of people think about, oh, I wanna spray the car down directly. What I like to do is I'm gonna take and shake it up. It's a nice clean pad, make sure it's clean. I just took it out of the box. And I'm just gonna take and spray a light level over the whole pad, okay? And then I take my fingertips, clean fingertips, and just work it kind of into the pad just a little bit, okay? So I got it nice and even. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna take and make an X across it. You can see the foam on there. And I'm just going to bring it onto the surface, and I'm just going to rub it in nice and gentle. And I'm just going to go nice, even strokes. Okay, if you hear a little bit of drag, what that means is you want to put a little more on, okay? So I want to hear no drag, nice and smooth onto that. And I'm just going to come down into the next area. Now you can see the sponge is really, you can see it's nice and smooth. You can hear it, there's no drag. And I'm just going to wait for a second. There's little beads across here, okay? That's because this is my daughter's car, and dad takes good care of it. Notice I said dad, not daughter, hint, hint. So I'm gonna let it sit and just start separating a little bit. You don't want it to allow it to dry on the car. Right over here, it's starting to get a little dry. So if you are in a hot day and you're doing this, if it does dry up a little bit, just go ahead and reactivate it and just put a little bit more on, okay? What I like about putting it on this way is that you can control it. It's not spraying all over the place and you're not wasting a lot of product. This is the, the best economical way to put it on. So once it dries a little bit, all you're gonna do is take a nice, clean, dry microfiber towel and you're just gonna buff it. Just lightly buff it in. Now once I've got it to where it's all blended and it looks good, I'm gonna flip the towel over or I'll have a second towel and I'm just gonna wipe it in nice and gentle and I'm gonna repeat this to the whole car. Now. Another nice thing, about, nice thing about this product is, is that it's good on plastic. So if you've got a car that's got some uh, black plastic, unpainted plastic, you can go right over it with this product. It's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna turn it foggy or hazy or put a chalk onto it. It's actually gonna make it look like it's dressed or you put some, some uh, nice plastic treatment to it. So you can go right over your plastic. Also, I like to use it right on the windows. Why? Because it's a nice rain repellent on the glass. So as you go down the, 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 the highway and it's a rainy day, phew, water's gone. Same application, I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. And as it dries up, I'm just gonna take and blend it in. There it is. So, Rennie with Auto Detailing TV, Sonics, Polymer Net Shield, Applicator Pad. So long everybody.